All right, so I'm gonna tell you exactly what you're gonna get out of this video. You're gonna find out what the best technology degrees are for one, and then you're also gonna find out the subtle differences between them that might make you choose one over the other. Now, I'm not gonna do any long intro this time because I'm doing a 30-day challenge and I've pretty much run out of ideas at this point. Almost done with this 30-day challenge. It has been pretty hectic, but you know, also pretty fun. And if you appreciate that, make sure to show your support by smashing the like button in order to defeat the evil YouTube algorithm. Also, I'm gonna do an experiment on this video. I'm gonna do it really fast. I'm probably not going to go into the details like I do in a lot of them. I'm going to try to keep this video really short and see how that does with the YouTube algorithm. So let's jump in right now. Number 10 on the list is going to be network administration. Now this is a degree where about 814 people every single year graduate with it. And you can expect to make around $46,200 a year in the first five years after graduating. And then mid-career pay is going to be somewhere around $77,000 a year. Now this is according to Payscale and they define mid-career pay as 10 years and after. So everything that you you make 10 years and after the average of all the people that have graduated. Now, network administrators ensure that a company's computer, software, and security functions run smoothly on a day-to-day -day basis. So basically, this one is very similar to an IT degree, and honestly, they do end up competing for the same jobs. The only problem with this one is the stats just aren't nearly as good as an IT degree. And why would a company hire a network administrator when somebody who graduates with an IT degree can basically do the same thing? And there's a ton of IT degree graduates out there that are looking for a job, so you probably just hire one of those. Now one job you could get with this degree is you could become a network and computer systems administrator. They make around $83,510 a year. There's about 383,900 jobs out there and they're growing around 5%, which is about as fast as average. Next one on the list is going to be computer graphics technology. There's around 1,400 people every year that graduate with this degree, and you can expect to make around $46,500 every single year in your first five years after graduating, and then mid-career pay is gonna be around $83,200 a year. Now this is a pretty good one because you get to combine technical skills with creative skills. And by doing this, you can design, analyze, and create ideas visually. Now there's honestly a ton of different career paths that you can go down with this one. You could go into advertising, design, uh, front-end web development. You could create video games. So if you're someone who's really set on doing art as a career, this might be a really good one to look into. But compared to other ones on this list, the statistics just aren't that good. Now one career path that you could potentially go down is becoming a multimedia artist and animator. They make around $75,270 a year. There's around 71,600 jobs available right now, and they're growing around 4%, which is average. Next one on the list is going to be a telecommunications degree. Now there's several different degrees that are related to telecommunications, and one of them would be a computer systems networking and telecommunications degree. There's about 1,600 people that graduate with this degree every single year, and you can expect to make around $41,500 a year starting out, and then $85,400 a year in your mid-career pay. Now this one is technically a Bachelor of Arts degree, not a Bachelor of Sciences degree. So depending on which university you go to, they might emphasize more the technology side of things or they might emphasize more of the art side of things. So basically what this degree combines is communications with technology. There's a lot of different career paths that you could potentially go down with this one, such as marketing, promotions, journalism, public relations, all kinds of different things. You could also go into the telecommunications industry, which is huge right now. There's tons of billionaires that have been created just because of the telecommunications industry. One career path you could go down potentially is becoming a market research analyst. They make around $63,000 a year. There's about 681,000 jobs out there and it's growing at 20%, which is way faster than average. Number seven on the list is going to be information technology, and this is what you know as IT. Now there's a ton of different variations of IT degrees out there, but this one is just the normal information technology degree. There's around 5,800 people that graduate with this degree every single year. And with this degree, you can expect to make around $55,000 a year right off the bat, and then mid-career pay will be somewhere around $92,000 a year. And this one is gonna be all about storing, retrieving, and sending information. And this is a great one for just being useful and helping businesses with their day-to-day -day technology needs. Now, one career path you could go down is you could become a network and computer systems administrator, and they make around $83,500 a year. There's 383,000 jobs available, and it's growing at 5%, which is around average. Number six on the list is going to be information science. There's around 5,700 people graduating with this degree every single year, and you can expect to make around $60,000 a year starting off, and then $94,300 a year in mid-career pay. 
So in layman's terms, what information science is, is they combine social sciences, kind of like sociology and psychology with computer science. So it's kind of the study of how people interact with technology and information. Some of you watch my videos and you smash the like button and some of you don't. I wonder why that is. I could probably study information science and find out. Very similar to data science, but that one has more of an emphasis on business. And you could probably see why this one would be very, very useful in the modern world. Social media, the internet, the digital world in general is changing the way that human beings behave and interact with each other. Might be for better or worse, whatever you think about it is absolutely changing the way people act. One career path that you could go down is becoming a computer systems analyst. They make around $90,900 a year. There's around 633,000 jobs available and it's growing at 9%, which is much faster than average. Number five on the list is going to be cybersecurity. This is a really interesting one to me. I could see this one being much higher on the list in the near future. You can expect to make around $61,300 a year starting off and then $93,700 a year after 10 years. And everybody knows about all the data leaks and the scandals around, you know, Equifax and Target and all the other leaks that have happened in the last five to 10 years. The jury's still out on that. You know, companies were kind of fined, but a lot of people argue that they will be fined even more in the near future. And if that happens, companies are going to be forced to take action on this and make sure that their data is completely secure and people's personal information doesn't get leaked. There's a ton of different career paths you could go down with this degree. One of them that you could do is becoming an information security analyst. They make around $99,000 a year. There's 112,000 jobs available and they are growing at 32%, which is much, much faster than average. The next degree on the list, number four, is going to be information security assurance, and this one is very similar to cybersecurity. There's around 3,600 people graduating every single year with this degree. You're gonna start off making around 60,000 a year, and mid-career pay will be over 103,000. So you'll notice that a lot of these different degrees kind of sound similar. This one is pretty closely related to cybersecurity, for instance. So this is why it's so important with technology degrees to do your research because this is such a new field and it hasn't really differentiated into what it's going to be in the near future. So it's even more important than a lot of the other degrees to contact somebody who's either gotten the degree or they're working in a career path that you're interested in. But anyways, the stats on this one are slightly better than cybersecurity. They're gonna end up going for a lot of the same jobs so you might see them become an information security analyst as well I'm not going to go over the stats again but I'll have it pop up on the screen for a second number three on the list is going to be information technology management you can expect Make around fifty seven thousand six hundred dollars a year starting off mid-career pay is going to be around hundred and two thousand dollars a year so this one is going to be similar to IT information technology of course but it's also going to integrate the leadership side of that which is management as you know if you follow my channel at all companies love people who try to be leaders or want to go in the leadership direction anytime you go for a leadership or a management position it will likely pay a lot more you'll also have more work and more responsibility but that kind of goes with the territory so if you combine the skill of being really good with technology and you also know how to lead people and you're a good manager companies are going to love that so one career that you could potentially go into is being a computer and information systems manager. They make around $146,000 a year, 414,000 jobs available out there, and it's growing at a very healthy 11%. Next one on the list is going to be computer information systems. So with this one, you can expect to make around $55,000 a year starting out, and mid-career pay is gonna be 98,400. So the thing about technology degrees is it can be really difficult to explain the differences between all of them. But basically, this one focuses on the practical applications of technology in order to either support a business or to help it grow. And this is a great one because again, it's combining technology skills with business skills. So an example of a career path you could go down is you could become a computer systems analyst. They make around $90,000 a year, there's 633,000 jobs available, and it's growing at a very healthy 9%. Number one on the list is going to be computer science. You guys knew this one was coming. I've talked about this one a lot on this channel. You're gonna start off making around $68,000 a year, and after 10 years, your mid-career pay is gonna be 114,000. 
probably one of the best degrees that you can get, objectively speaking. Obviously, everyone's going to be different. Not everyone is meant to be, you know, a software developer or anything like that. So if you absolutely hate software development or anything like that, there's plenty of other degrees out there that are going to be great for you. Don't just go for this one because I say that it's really good. But it's so obvious to me that these are the skills that are going to be extremely coveted in the next 20, 30, and 40 years. Let me know what you think about the video. Comment down below. Hit the subscribe button. All that sort of thing.